133 pounds from parts unknown, the Miser. Okay, Bomb Group, we have an exciting match for you now. The Miser against Jim Dean. And, uh, you know, John, uh, looking at these guys right from the set, Jimmy Dean's obviously got a lot of courage, a lot of desire, but he doesn't have size. As you say, He's giving up a lot of size, but look how quick he is. I yeah. mentioned earlier that uh, this could be one of the quickest wrestlers in the country. Well, he needs to have that speed. Maybe I have to believe that he's, well, he's got the miser chase stick pretty heavy now. And I don't know. I guess it looks to me like Jimmy Dean's pretty well intimidated because uh, he started out running and he's once the miser caught him. I thought maybe he was running, John, and for the wrestling fans, I thought maybe he was running. You can get a man chasing you, and you run around the corner and stop. When he comes, you're waiting on him. There was a miser with a, a neck breaker. Apparently, first neck breaker. Apparently, he's not content. No. The miser wants to punish Jim Dean, it looks like. And that he's doing. Well, I can see the miser. Was probably embarrassed having to chase him around. And there he goes. He goes, he entrando mucho and start to come and I was going in the ring to help him and you saw what he's doing there now he's hitting Malenko with or he hit Bobby with the cane Malenko's holding me the referee's trying to get us to break as I go the assassin drives me right out of the ring Bobby's been not completely cold with that cane well I tell you it's not going to happen again this time there'll be 10 people with canes out there just right here, Ryan Wright's got, got it. All these canes will yeah, be around yeah. the ring. We got a Not score to settle. We're going to score it. It's a, we're going to settle it. Key and many others. Match time is 8:30. Okay, back now to All Star Championship Wrestling, and looky here, we've got none other than the guy who just won this match. Fella by the name of Randy Savage, and you got a belt here. What is that? Jimmy, baby, the best thing that you can do is probably just stand back and let the macho man talk, because there's nothing that you could say that I couldn't say better myself. The macho man with the man with the million dollar robes and the international heavyweight champion. You know, there's been some talk about all-star championship wrestling, baby. And Jimmy, I want you to look at me when I'm talking, brother. Because the fact that remains right now that the best competition the best competition right now is with All-Star Championship Wrestling. Because I'll guarantee you otherwise, why would the people in this area now be seeing the Macho Man, the international heavyweight champion, respected the world over, wouldn't you say, international? Oh, at least. International? International. The world over? The world over. Why haven't I been here before? I don't know. All-Star Championship Wrestling brings me here. And the man with the million-dollar robes that you read about in the magazines, and the international heavyweight champion, for such a long time, and Jimmy Baby, wouldn't you say that maybe in 20 years, maybe I can keep this belt? But there's one more belt on my mind that the Macho Man has been thinking of, and that's this Saturday, tonight. You've got a tag team match, eh? i got a tag team match, but I'll guarantee you that the match I'm going to be watching is tonight. Bob Wharton Jr. versus Ronnie Garvin. Who are you for? Does it matter? Does it matter? Because the man with the international heavyweight belt, the man with the million-dollar rolls and the Macho Man ahead of Macho Mania, is issuing a challenge 
To the winner of that match, and I don't care who it is, Jimmy, oh. I'm just saying that All-Star Championship Wrestling made it possible. You, 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 want, you, you want either or? I want the winner of that match, because I'm a belt collector. I've got one around this beautiful arm, and I want one around this one. And I'll guarantee you that tonight, Macho Mania is going to be sitting in the front row. We're running out of time, Macho. It's okay. I'm going to be watching that match. Good to, good to talk to you. All right. We'll be back in just a moment. It's All-Star Championship Wrestling for you folks up in Lake City, Tennessee. Monday, July the 2nd at 8.30 in the Lake City High School Gym. All-Star Championship Wrestling is bringing us Supercard featuring the area's top wrestlers. Ronnie Garvin, Boris Malenko, Bob Orton Jr., Bob Root, Terry Gibbs, Chief Black Eagle, the Assassin, Colonel Yan Key, and many, many others. And for you wrestling fans in Newport, Tennessee, on Friday, July 6th at the old American Legion Boys Club building, All-Star Championship Wrestling brings you a super card featuring Ronnie Garvin, Bob Orton Jr., Chief Black Eagle, Professor Boris Malenko, Terry Gibbs, Bob Root, The Assassin, Colonel Yan Key, and many others. Match time is 8.30. Chilhowie Park every Saturday night in the open air arena uh, with uh, the, some of the finest wrestling you ever saw. And I think it's about time for us to go to our first match. Definitely. And anybody that wants wrestling in their area, just drop us a card or letter here to Channel uh, 26 TV and then care of Ron Wright, and I'll get in and get back in contact with them and uh, set matches up in their own area. Okay, let's go to Rita for us to go to the ring and get our uh, first match started a little bit about what's going to be happening at Chill Howie Park tonight. Big Jim, it's an honor to get out here and get to hold a poster up with an all-star match set up on it like this. Uh, these matches, they've really got some tough matches lined up and uh, all the way down here to the bottom completely at the top, they could be a main event wrestling match anywhere in the country, not right. just in Knoxville, Tennessee. It could be main event anywhere in the country. If you want to give that card just another run down, start down there at the bottom and start down right down at the up. bottom. We're going to have uh, Don Wright against uh, Hoot Gibson, and that certainly ought to be. you got Brother Donnie in there doing a little wrestling. Tony Peters against George McCreary. Devoy Brunson and Rick Connors. Randy Savage against uh, Dennis Condry. And then we get into that big six-man elimination tag team match with Russian death rules. And I need to talk to Malenko now about just what Russian death rules are. And uh, his group is going to be the what they call the Malenko family. Uh, it's the professor, the masked assassin, and Bob Roop. And that's going to be against uh, Terry Gibbs, Leaping Lanny, and Chief Black Eagle. Should be a terrific match. Then comes the big main event tonight out of Chill Howie Park. Yes, sir, it's going to be Bob Orton Jr., who took the championship away from Ronnie Garvin last Saturday night, but it's going to be a rematch, a title rematch against Ronnie Garvin. So we should see some terrific wrestling tonight out at Chill Howie Park. I don't think any of you ought to miss it. And uh, the... We've got ringside seats and general admission and everything just waiting on everybody out there, Henry Ron. That's right, Jim. The children under 12 are two dollars. General admission's three. Ringside is five, and ringside bleachers are four. I tell you, last week I really got shocked because I didn't think that Bob Orton would be able to take that title away from uh, no, I didn't Ronnie Garvin. You're ill. Sunday, May the third. The seat ain't no Nobody gonna do nothing to me. I want all y'all to come out here. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, where they say there's never been a black champion. 30 years. I'm fighting for every, I'm representing the people. I am breaking the chains of bondage for everybody. That, 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 that's all I was When they start talking about, when they start talking about opportunity, for 16 years. 16 years that other organizations oh, have misused not only that people, but everybody. The IWL have given me the opportunity and the dream of a lifetime. This is it. We're breaking the bondage and the change in professional wrestling. I have the opportunity to go for the world to end. The a, dream, the belt, a dream of a lifetime. And I have been contacted 
by the IWA official that to come in here that you have Lewis Select, the troubleshooter, that show. Well, boy, to be a patient and need a referee and to make sure that you do have your opportunity. And when you do get in that ring, you do your thing and do it right, baby. And nobody else is going to stop you from doing it right. I am doing it for the people and ain't nobody. Oh, my God. Ooh. I'm pullover. Now he's got Perez down to the map. Perez immediately moving to his belly down position. Spins under again and takes that arm. Neat move underneath he's got with that spin under. Twice he's taken over and got himself out of stripes. Moved in control. Now he reaches through with the wrist lock. I would like to mention this for the people that did not see last week's show. Uh, in closing, I refer to the fact that it should have been well called the uh, Great Manejo program because he was in and out quite a bit. Well, he was very concerned because things were happening at uh, whatever the, the true story is. Uh, he was in and out of things trying to figure out exactly who he was going to wrestle. And of course, he realized he realized just how, how tough this man is. And he wasn't real eager to have a sudden change in his plans. And a smart wrestler does not like to play the other man's game. You see a, a sudden change in your game plan, you better sit back a little bit and figure out exactly if that's the way you want to go. Malenko is no fool. He's not going to get caught in the trap. Well, I don't think that Alberto thinks that the uh, Tiger will change his spot. Just not an answer. Exactly. And I'll tell you something. Perez is very, it's a very smart. No, oh, good lift. Good lift by Malenko. The Perez was up to it. He came out from underneath it. First, caught again. Now Malenko drops Perez across his knee. Perez fights out from under. Perez is a fighter. He will fight it all away. He's hurting now. Perez misses with that elbow. Now Perez thinking, oh, he's banging him against that turnbuckle. I was surprised that Malenko went in his high with that move. He came in carelessly and he got caught for it. Flying there by Perez. Malenko drops it, drives Malenko out onto the floor. Dave Malenko coming to the ring apron, trying to get himself under control. Climbing up through the rope. Perez steps right over, drives him off again. That's not giving him a chance to get in and get set. Perez realizes he has an advantage, and he catches him across the face. Malenko for the chain, he's got the chain that he brought in here to demonstration, and now he's cut him across the neck with it. Caught him again, whipping him with it, coming around the neck. Malenko moves out of the way. No desire to face 